Can you take two JavaScript variables, alpha and beta, and swap the values around so that the value stored in beta is not stored in alpha and vice versa without using a third variable? We'll answer that in this lesson, so let's go. Here we have two JavaScript variables, alpha containing the string John and beta containing the string Jane. Our key constraint is that we will not use any new variables and our final test will be that alpha must contain the value of beta which was Jane and beta must contain the value of alpha which was John. Now most people will quite easily arrive at a temporary variable solution where they use a temporary variable to store the value of alpha so that they can then put in the value of beta into alpha and then finally recover the value of alpha from the temporary variable to store into beta, essentially swapping alpha and beta. However, this violates our constraint of not creating any temporary variables. Fortunately, we do have a solution to this problem thanks to JavaScript destructuring. Here's a quick recap. We can create two variables 1 and 2 by destructuring them from an existing array containing the strings John and Jane. So now 1 will be John and 2 will be Jane. And in addition to destructuring while creating variables, we can even destructure into existing variables. For example, we can have the variables 1 and 2 declared beforehand and then use these two variables to store the values provided by the array first and second members. Now since we are creating arrays out of strings over here, we can actually create an array out of existing variables as well. So we might as well just use the variables alpha and beta that we already have that are storing these two same strings. And now for the final crescendo, instead of storing these values into these two local variables that we just created, we can use the existing variables beta and alpha in that order to essentially swap the values of alpha and beta using JavaScript destructuring. So this is not something that was possible with older versions of JavaScript, for example ES5 and below which did not have array destructuring. So as JavaScript continues to evolve, more interesting patterns like this continue to emerge. If you enjoyed this lesson, smash that like and subscribe for more programming tips and tricks and I will see you in the next one.